We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. The German news agency, Transocean, said the German broadcast. Here's another late development, and this news keeps coming in as we're talking here. Hello, this is your introduction to do-it-yourself cosplay, yay! I call it that, I call it, you know, DIY because that's how I build costumes. I'm DJ Dan, and I've built costumes for, you know, several years now, and uh, they're low-budget costumes, and uh, it's just uh, amazing that I have one, you know, best of show and several uh, cons over the last couple of years and very shocked, you know, about it. But it's, you know, you, you have to really put yourself into it, you know, and really look outside the box. You don't have to buy everything. You know, you don't have to go in, uh, online and pick up gloves or pick up uh, shoes or something like that. There's many, many places that, you know, you can uh buy things at you know and uh you know i'm here to give you this panel here is to give you tips you know that i've used ideas that i've used you know to help you guys out you know because you can do the same thing you can build a costume on very low low budget and you you know what you, you'll be shocked you know at the end of it um the main thing is just don't rush you know take your time i've had costumes that i built that have taken me a year I'm just piecing it together here and there, here and there. Okay, so I'll get on with it, you know, enough of that. And so basically, uh, we're, as you can see in the background, we're in my workshop. Uh, this is basically where all the magic happens. Um, and pretty much, you know, it starts really at home. You know, if you see things that you have, you know, stuff that you're going to throw away, it might work. It could work for your costume. It worked for me. You know, so, you know, so sometimes I know it's, you don't want to be a pack rat, but sometimes you have to look at things and kind of look at them with a different uh, eye. Um, do not be afraid to piece costumes together. And I do that too. Take a piece here, take a piece there, take a piece there. It doesn't matter if it's pre pre-made, you're still putting it on the costume yourself. So it's still yours, you know, don't let anyone else tell you that. I know there's a lot of uh, people out there you know, look down at that and say, well, you have to sew your costume completely or you have to build your armor or you have to, you know, we don't have that kind of money. You know, I don't have that kind of money to buy, you know, a thousand dollars sewing machine or a 3D printer or a vacuum machine to build armor, you know. So I go the different route, you know, and it, I've been lucky so far. And um, so, you know, as you can see, like the Captain America shield you see on the wall back there, that's a s snow sled. <laughs> a snow sled, you know, that was completely dented up and smashed, and I pounded it back out, used car paint, did all that myself, you know. So, yeah, you know, I didn't spend $300 on a brand new shield. I made one myself. And this is before there was even shields out, you know, and people love it, you know, so... It's stuff, you know, stuff like that that we're, you know, we're going to be talking about, you know, so, you know, as, you know, I, I wish this, we were interactive here and, you know, and stuff like that. You can ask me questions and everything like that. So I'm just going to kind of just go through everything that I do and stuff like that and the, the tools I use. Um, I use a lot of screws, you know, uh, I have, I mean, just, I got so many different screws and nuts and bolts that I just save you know, and I end up using sooner or later, you know, wiring, uh, wiring harnesses and stuff like that. See, you know, I get stuff like that off, you know, toys, you, you just, you know, an RC car or whatever, or a toy gun, you know, if you don't like the way it sounds or looks, rip the guts out. You never know when you're going to need the wires. You never even know when you need the battery pack, you know? And so, and yeah, and I tell you what, there's nothing wrong about shopping a Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, stores like that, uh, especially, you know, Radio Shack, I love Radio Shack, and you can get everything there, and you just do everything yourself, you know, 
And then, of course, if you know how to solder, excuse me here, sorry, but, you know, get your own soldering guns, glue guns, all be bought at Walmart or other places. Dremel works wonders. They're not expensive. They're not expensive at all. You know, once you have it, you invest in it, you have it forever, you know, and it does amazing things. I even have an old style glue gun or not glue. I'm sorry, heat gun that I got, you know, a yard sale. You know, it works. I didn't have to go out and buy me an expensive one. It works great. So don't be afraid to go to yard sales and find, you know, stuff, uh, materials and even tools that you can use to build a costume. You know, so don't be afraid to do that. Go to Goodwill. Go to, uh, you know, uh, any uh, discount store. And you'd be amazed what you can find. Uh, most of the weapons I build, uh, you know, are from dollar stores, you know, uh, or yard sales. And I get nerfs, you know, nerf guns. I get just toy guns. And I, and I put them together. You know, I piece them together, you know, as much, you know, as much as I can. You know, here, I'll show you one here that I've been working on. You know, and as you can tell, that's part water gun, part Nerf gun, part toy gun, and everything. Now, I'm building this for my wife because she's doing a Mandalorian. And we, and that's another thing is do not be afraid. You don't have to build your cosplay exactly like the cartoon or exactly like the comic book or exactly like the movie. Put yourself into it. Add a little bit of yourself into it. I, I could have went out and got the specs on the on the rifle that he uses in the show, and I didn't. She didn't want that. She wanted something different, so I built her her own gun. And of course, it's not completed yet, but I've used also toilet paper rolls. <laughs> Believe it or not, they work great for weapons. You know, so don't be afraid to to do that. I mean, I'm working on one right now. You know, that's pieced together. It's not done yet, but it's pieced together. It, Nerve, you know, th that right there, you know, cost me all of, uh, you know, four bucks. And once I get it together and get it painted and everything like that, there you go. You know, and as in paint, that's another thing I want to talk about is uh, you don't have to go out and buy the most expensive paint in the world for a weapon or armor. You, you can do the same thing with 98 cent paint. You just have to take your time with it. Okay, you know how to scuff it up, paint it silver first, then go over it black, scuff it up with a sandpaper. Hence, you got a great looking weapon. So, don't be afraid of doing that either. So, but um, some of my cosplays that I have done, you know, I've, I've done Iron Man, which I've not shown off, but I've done birthday parties with, and he's kind of wear war, he's kind of wore out right now. Um, but I used duct tape, works great. I'm telling you, duct tape will work. It will work wonderful. Of course, Velcro. Everybody uses Velcro. Nothing wrong with double stick Velcro. And sometimes I even use hot glue with it or glue glue. And it works It works great. You know, stuff like that. I've even made some Iron Man gloves. I got, this was an actual toy that I got a yard sale for a couple bucks. The light Dollar Tree. One one dollar for the bow over the lab. And I just did it myself. Ran the wires myself into a nine volt battery. There you go. It's that simple. You know, of course I've you know I've I can up you can always upgrade too. And there's there are places you can shop online that are very cheap, you know, but it takes time to get here. But remember you get what you pay for. I I bought some things online from overseas. And they came in, they were bad. You know, they were just too small, didn't work, you know, wasting my time, wasting my money. I'd rather buy it here in America and, you know, do, do it myself. You know, and that's this whole panel's about is do it yourself. You know, it's not hard. Don't be afraid. It's good to, I started out just experimenting. And that's what you can do too, is just experiment with things. Start with a basic costume. Start with a store-bought basic costume and add to it. That's how I did my Iron Man. Started out with a store-bought costume and, you know, and I added armor to it. You know, I found armor here and there, you know, and everything like that. I used actually Halo armor for my Iron Man. I repainted everything, sanded it down. I used uh, plastic folders for school 
Uh, you, I mean, you name it. I, I just, I went, I thought out of the box, you know, and I used, I have a, you know, a hand rivet gun that I got at Walmart, didn't pay much for and did that too. Used, I mean, I built the armor out of all that, excuse me. And just, you know, just added to it, you know, piece by piece by piece by piece. And you know what? Everywhere I go with it, people are just amazed, you know, and I love it. You know, it's and everything else. And like with the, like the LEDs, I did the lights and stuff like that. Don't be afraid to use LEDs or, you know, they're, they're easy to use. You just got to be careful. You have to know their wattage because I've blown quite a few of them. If if the light is calls for three AAA, don't use a nine volt because <laughs> uh, it'll work for a while and they'll be bright, but they, they will burn out. So just kind of watch your, you know, your wattage. If, if the light requires three triple A's and then use three triple A's, if the light requires, you know, a nine volt, use the nine volt. It's just overall, it, it will last you longer, you know, and everything like that. But, you know, um, what I can do right now is kind of show you, show you a little bit of the shop, you know. So as you can see, you know, a little bit of the shop like that. You know, and so, you know, that's my workbench, everything like that. See, you got, there's some of the stuff I'm working on. Don't afraid to use cardboard and paint. It works. You know, there's my, a lot of my weapons that I've built, you know, using toy guns, you know. And it, it works, and it works really well. So, you know, once again, you know, but please be careful. You know, I use exact on that. You know, you can use exact on knives. You can buy this stuff. Model building uh, uh, tools work work really good, and they're cheap. They're not not expensive at all. But just be careful. You know, be careful with cutting using exact on knives. You know, you can cut a finger pretty good. I've sliced my a lot of my fingers. You know, trying to get it done and everything like that, but. Uh, uh, one thing too is, is if you are going to do this, um, try set a s spot in your house, your home or garage, get a table like I kind of showed you here, you know, and that's in storage. You know, I have shelves for in stuff on shelves, you know, it's the best way to do it. Or you just, you're going to have a mess everywhere, you know, and everything like that. So just, you have to be careful. Uh, another good hint and tip, uh, Halloween. You know, Halloween's a good time of year. Of course, it's our favorite time of year. But uh, day after Halloween, you know, or during during the season, pick it. That's how you can pick up a lot of cosplay stuff. A lot of things I have, um, especially the day after, where like Spirit or Walmart or any stores, you can go in and you can pick up cheesecloth. You know, just on pennies on the dollar, you can pick up. You know, just little thing LEDs. You know, you know stuff that's has LEDs in it, and you can rip, gut them out, and use the LEDs, so, and even costumes, you know, and stuff like that, so, you know, it, it's a good way of stocking up, even if you don't need it right then and there, or you may not need it for that cosplay you're doing now, you might need it for another one, so, hence, you have your area, so you have, you know, a uh, place to put everything, um, my area can get cluttered at times, you know, like everybody else's. I'm, I'm sure all of you out there have the same type of area or bigger area, you know, which I need to get the bigger area because I'm getting kind of, you know, closed in, but, uh, you know, it's, it's always been a good thing to, to have, you know, to have something extra that you may not use for that cosplay, but may work for another one. Uh, when I build my Captain America Apocalypse, I use shoulder pads, football shoulder pads that I use for another cosplay. And I wasn't doing that one anymore. And I looked at it and I said, oh, you know, I'm going to build a futuristic Captain America in a zombie land, wasteland, you know, Mad Max type theme. And sure enough, the shoulder pads were great. You know, they were beat up already and stuff. So I just beat them up more. Uh, the helmet I use is from an old cosplay and I did the same thing there. So you can always, don't throw, don't, if you do a cosplay and he's like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. You know, and anything like that, don't throw it away or don't dismantle it yet. Just cause you never know when you might need that a piece here and there, you know, for that. Like with my, I, my dark Knight, 
I did the same thing. You know, uh, the undersuit was my halo suit and I was just about to throw it away. And I was like, you know what? I might use that for something. So I decided to do a dark night. I haven't done a dark night in years. And so I did it and I had, you know, I had a, I had the chest piece put on to see, I don't sew. So I have to consign my consign for the sewing. Don't be afraid to do that. It's okay. You know, it's not going to hurt you if you didn't sew pieces of the costume and be honest at the judging, you know, tell the judges, I didn't sew this, but so-and-so did, but it was my idea, you know, take credit for the idea, but do not take credit for the sewing because sometimes you can get away with it. And sometimes you're not going to get away with it. Uh, I am always honest with, uh, at the judgings. And I tell them, you know, hey, this is pieced together from costumes, you know, right? but I did use this. I put it together with this, 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 you know, and everything else. And they always seem to they seem to like the honesty about it, you know, and they want that. I've, I, um, I, if I have a spandex undersuit, oh, did you sew this undersuit? No, I did not. You know, uh, I, I purchased that. And, it, and you may lose a point on, you know, one category, but you'll gain a point on another one because the honesty goes a lot, a long way. Because I've been in contests where I know for a fact that uh, some of the people did not, you know, sell their costume or, or did not build their, or did not, you know, vacuum form their armor. And they went and told the judges they did. And I think the judges knew. And that's why, you know, they, 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 they know. You know, uh, I've yet to be a judge, you know, on a contest, which I would love, I'd love to be, that'd be my next goal, um, um, to be a judge, you know, uh, because I look at things in a, in a different eye, you know, so I don't just, I'm just not, I don't look at things as just black and white. I see all the gray areas. And I, can, I mean, something so simple as painting damage, you know, onto a helmet with me goes, you know, a long way instead of actually damaging the helmet. Because if it looks just like it's damaged and you did it with paint, I'm going to give you kudos for that. Because that's good. Because you can very easily damage it by taking a knife and cutting it wide open. But if it looks 3D and it looks good and you took the time to do that, little details like that I, li I, I like, I enjoy. And that's what I put in my cosplay. You know, uh, and I think the judges see that, that, that the time and effort, you know, the little details you know, and stuff like that. But, you know, the details come as the costume gets built. So those will come with you, you know, the same thing. Um, you know, once again, you know, uh, Velcro, duct tape, zip ties, best friend. Don't be afraid to use them. You Use them as much as you can. You got to remember a lot of times these you know costumes do not last, you know, after a con, you know, and they're going to get beat up and stuff like that. Now, if you're part of a group, you know, you know, and, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to build your costume to last a little bit longer, you know, especially, you know, part of a cosplay group that, you know, does a lot of work outside cons, then yeah, you have to look at durability. But, uh, if you're it just, you know, if you're just doing it for the con itself, yeah, then, yeah, then you can get away with a lot of, you know, a lot of low stuff. There was times I've used duct tape and glue gun on the spot to patch up something that broke loose. You know, because I turned the wrong way or it bent over the wrong way or something like that. And I'm like, right away, boom, boom, boom. You know, luckily at most cons, there's a cosplay emergency kit area that you can do it. But I bring my own kit. And that's another thing, you know, I like to talk about is, you know, when you bring your costume, bring it in a big enough bag, but bring, bring, bring your Velcro, bring your, your glue gun, bring your solder gun, bring everything that you need in case something happens. You know, especially if you're wearing the costume more than one day, you know, so, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I always stock it up with all that, you know, and then I get to my room, I unload everything, I check out the costume and, and everything else, you know, so, you know, that's, so that's usually the best, the best way, you know, I do it, but, uh, um, I have a kit, a do it yourself kit that sometimes I bring It's a it's a old toolbox. And it will have all that in it. It will have extra, you know, extra Velcro, extra plastic, um, you name it, paint. I even have, I'll carry some paint, you know, touch-up paint in case there's a scratch in a place I don't want to scratch. You know, something like that. So, but like I said, when you go into weather or damage, you know, guns, weapons, or even armor or something like that, or even clothing, 
don't be afraid. You know, paint paint works really well. You can use browns, blacks, purples, blue. You know, you can mix them up. You know, and it does a really good job weathering. You know, you know, and stuff like that, and rust, and so on and so forth. It's very easy to do. You can test it on just something. You know, on a something you're not going to use, and then test it. Have fun with it. You know, what I do a lot is on the painting. I'll use a a, a cloth. Or something to smear it, to rub it. If I don't want sharp edges, you know, on my paint and stuff like that. Very easy to do. Just use, you know what? You can just, you know, use, you know, the you know the cloth, you know, or paper towel or an uh, old rag. And it's really good. You put the paint on, smear it. Well, you got a nice burn mark, you know. The equals a burn mark. And that, that goes a long way in some, in some of the costumes. You know, anything like that. And, uh. You know, don't don't be afraid to, uh, you know, if it doesn't look good to you, does not mean it it looks it looks great to somebody else. Uh, I'm the worst person. I will. I am such a big critic on my old work that I'm like, oh, that looks terrible. Looks terrible. I'll put the costume on, and everybody's like, oh, you look great, and <laughs> you know, and I'm like, no, it's not right. It doesn't, you know. So don't be so hard on yourself. If you're wearing the cost, you know, if you're trying it on or whatever and your significant other is there and it gives you an honest opinion, you know, you know what, take it. Sometimes you can overkill it. Sometimes you can do too much. And then pretty soon it's just like, oh, wow, I've done way too much work and you know, everything else. And of course, when you're on a budget, you have to be careful because if you make mistakes, you have to go out and buy more stuff and everything else. So take your time, you know, take your time. You know, you have all year you know what, once, you know, once you go to a con, the cons are over, a lot of the cons are all grouped together in the first several months of the year, then you have the rest of the year to work on stuff, you know, so you can take your time, you know, grant you, you have to do your painting when it's warm and stuff, unless you got a heated garage, but uh, other than that, you know, you can just take your time, like I said, my Iron Man, uh, from start to finish, after adding to it, you know, it took almost two years, and that was just adding pieces, you know, here and there. I, you know, I wear it, but then I add a piece, wear it, add a piece. Uh, my Captain America, another one took another year, you know, because I kept thinking, okay, what could I add to it? You know, and I came thinking, okay, what what would they use and how would they would look in the future in a post-apocalyptic world? Uh, my Batman, you know, I wanted it had to be a different, you know, I, can't, I wanted something different, so he's like a black ops Batman, so I had, I went with black and gold and highlighted, you know, black and gold on it, and that took forever, you know, um, because I, you know, just meticulous, so don't be in a rush, you know, don't be in a rush, take your time, you know, and so, you know, this way, you're not wasting money, you know, oh, I messed up, and I gotta go, buy, you know, I gotta go buy another one, you know, or whatever it is you you need to buy, if you take your time with it, then you won't. And you know, make use of everything that you can. Like I said, you know, the stores, you know, thrift stores, stuff like that are full. Of it. The yard sales are full of stuff that can be used for cosplay. You know, a lot of the, you know, like I said, the stores I mentioned before, you know, don't be ashamed to go in there and, and look for something, you know, I, and that's going to work. And I said, no, it, it, if it works, it works. Instead of buying, you know, the high priced items and yeah, they look great, but somebody else made them, you know, and, and everything else, but you can do too much of that. And then you kind of lose the integrity of the costume and you, need, and you lose the feeling of, Hey, I built this, you know, you know, out of, you know, out of my head, you know, and stuff like that. And so that's why it's always good. You know, sometimes the simplest things, you know, you know, like if you buy a pair of gloves, you know, say you buy a pair of, you know, gloves like this, you know, they cost a couple bucks, you know, like that. But then you go and you put the studs in them and you go and you, you put something on it. You add armor to it. Now you've, you've, now you have that feeling back. You're like, okay, now, Hey, it was a glove. Now I've turned it into something, something even better. And I think those are the best cosplays, no matter what anybody says, you know? So honestly, I just, you know, don't, like I said, use, use everything you can find, you know, and then try not to be a pack rack. You know, so you don't hear it from, you know, the significant others. They're like, oh, you, you won't throw nothing away. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. But, I mean, there, there's time. You'll know if to throw it away or not throw it away. You know, so. But, uh, yeah, just, you know what, have fun. 
go out there and it's like I said, it's not about winning winning a contest or, or not. It's not about that. It's not about anything else. It's about you having a great time putting one together, right? And then going to a con and showing the costume off and then and see how well how you know how well it, how well people accept it. You know, how people people like it. You know what? And it doesn't matter if they like it or don't like it, as long as you like it, that's all that matters. But it's good, you know, to go out there to a con and you know people are like whoa that looks cool i've never seen that you know like oh how'd you do that you know and that's what you know that's the fun part you know and it's like yeah i did it this way so you know once again you know don't be afraid to do that i'm going to show you guys one more time uh my uh whoops i'm sorry I'll show you one more time you know my uh workshop just so you guys have a kind of an idea what's what it's kind of looks like a little bit and see here see there's there's cap and as you can tell see and it's just you know what it's the stuff you find and have a good time with and of course there's my weapons rack you know and stuff I just put together you know Of course, there's the shield I was talking about. And there's my Iron Man. Now, that right there I did buy. That's one of my collectibles. But this right here is his piece together. Underneath this, you got Roman armor, you know, duct tape, and you name it. There's some of my helmets that I've been working on. I've also done a Star Wars. I made my own Sith Lord and created my own helmet. So you can see right there. Yep, yeah, that's my Lord. <laughs> I have to keep. I have to keep it in here because I'm not allowed to keep it anywhere else. But see, there's a lot of stuff here. Sorry about that. Let's see. Now there's the Mando I'm working on. I got all my shelves, different stuff in there where I can get to it. Not a problem. So. Uh, well, there we go. My time's about up. I hope you enjoyed this panel. You know, I'm sure I probably missed some things there with that. But any questions, if you have any questions whatsoever, hey, let, hit, hit me up. I will try to give you the best answer I can get you. Or even help you out with the cosplay. I don't mind doing it. I love building costumes i enjoy it probably more than anything in the world so we'll see you later and thanks oh don't forget metrotham con hey we're back okay we will be back next year uh uh end of uh, april beginning of may i believe is what it is so um please come out and see us uh, we i'm telling you i am dj dan you i will be also hosting the uh, lip sync contest uh, next year. So you come out and enter that. Uh, it's going to be real fun. But uh, you know what? Stay with us at Metrotham Con. We are up and coming. We are going to be big. You know, right? We're going to be really big. We're going to be as big as everybody else. So we will see you later. And it's one hey, everybody, peace out there. I know it's weird times, you know, but we'll stick by each other and just we will get through this. All right. So, peace out. We'll see you later.